Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we're going to practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they're short, they're sweet, they're to the point. But if you are looking for more in-depth videos, I'll point you in the right direction as to how to access those videos at the end of this episode. All right, so our focus, our question type that we're going to be working on this week is, drum roll. It's a two-parter. That's right, two-parter. It's going to be a graphic response item display and an editing task. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem this week. Okay, we just can see that it's a two-parter, part A and part B, and part A is connected to part B. They involve the same situation. That's how a two-part problem works. All right, before we go ahead and tackle this together and I model and walk through my journey, why don't you go ahead and pause the video and show your journey, show your journey on paper, and then join me when you're ready to check your work. All right, fourth grade, welcome back. So it says, part A says to drag the correct values into the area model, which is down here, to show the work for 47 times 31. All right, so dragging. Now, as you can see, I am marking up this printable copy, just like you might be doing too. But for most of us, when we take the fast math assessment, it's going to be on the computer and you will have the ability to click something and drag it where it needs to go. So we're going to practice that today the best that we can, just using a lot of our imagination to imagine that it's being dragged, drug, I don't know the verb tense there, that it's being moved over. So we've got the area model down here. We've got 47 has been broken into 40 plus seven, and 31 has been broken into 30 plus one, awesome. So let's take a look at what would go into this one right here, okay? We would have 30 times 40, which is what? 1,200. So this one right here, if we could click on that and drag it where it goes, it would go right here into this one, right? So 1,200 or 1,200 as it's being represented there. Now let's take a look at this one right here. We can move to any box next. That would be 30 times seven, which is what? 210. So we would click on our 210 if this were a computer-based test and drag it into the box. So we're just going to place it there. 210, excellent. Okay, now let's move on to, how about this one down here? That would be 40 times one or one times 40, which is what? 40, so we grab our 40 and move it in to get 40 right there. And then last but not least, we have one times seven or seven times one, which is seven. So we will take this seven click on it and drag it to where it needs to go. There we go, okay? So that is how we would drag the things. And you can see over here, we have three and 30 that are still left as choices that were not being used and that's okay. But essentially we just wanted to practice how to drag pieces over where we need them to be. Part B says find the product of 47 and 31, or it says the product of 47 and 31 is, and we have a drop down menu. So we would click these two little lines and it would drop down this menu right here. And we have to select the correct product. Now the product is the total when you multiply. So we've done most of the work in the area model. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that. So we've got 1200 plus 210 plus 40 plus seven. If we add those together, we get 1,457. So we would go ahead and select this one and it would show up right here, okay? So go ahead and make sure that you have all of these notes copied on your paper um, as we're practicing for a computer-based test. And that's it for this week. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. 
If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. Check out the links below or somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you wanna get better, stronger, or more confident with something in life, you have got to practice. You've got to put in the effort, the energy that it takes to get it done. And please know that I believe in you. I know that you can do this. I'll see you next time, world changers.